Hey, it's good to have you with us. This is now the 13th episode of Step by Step through Mark's Gospel. I hope you found it useful as we've looked together at what the Bible tells us about Jesus. Before we begin, I want you to think about this question. What makes a good doctor? From talking with others and my own experience, there are two qualities that come to my mind in answer to that question. A good doctor is one who cares about you and one who is able to help. I want you to bear those two qualities in mind as we look at our passage today, Mark chapter 6 and verses 30 to 44. What do we see about Jesus here? Well, first of all, we see that Jesus cares. The section begins with Jesus' disciples returning from a preaching trip. They're full of stories about what's happened, but they're also tired. Things are so busy that they don't even have time to eat. Mark tells us in verse 31 that Jesus comes up with a plan. Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. Notice, Jesus doesn't ignore the disciples' tiredness. He doesn't overlook their need to rest. He cares about them. He understands their need. So Jesus and his disciples head off across the Sea of Galilee to a quiet place for a bit of R&R. But they hadn't left unnoticed, and by the time they land, a crowd has gathered, eager to see Jesus. I wonder, how would you respond? Imagine, you take a day off work because you need a rest. Yet first thing in the morning, your boss calls you. You're needed in the office. It's frustrating, isn't it? You just want to be left alone. But that's not how Jesus responds. Mark tells us in verse 34. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. Jesus saw their need. He didn't dismiss them. He didn't send them away. Why not? Because he cares about people. So the first thing we see in this passage is that Jesus cares. Yet that's not all. We also see that Jesus is more than able to help. Jesus is teaching and the time is passing and the end of the day is getting closer. Jesus' disciples are concerned about the crowd. They must be getting hungry and where are they going to find food in a remote place like this? The disciples come up with a solution. Let's send people to the town so that they can buy food to eat. Having figured it all out, they present their plan to Jesus. What happened next must have stunned them. But he answered, you give them something to eat. What? This crowd was huge. We know there were approximately 5,000 men and then women and children too. How could the disciples feed so many? They start to do the maths and are horrified. That would take more than half a year's wages. Are we to go and spend that much on bread and give it to them to eat? No, Jesus takes the opportunity for a miracle. He gets the disciples to gather what food there is, five small loaves of bread and two fish, one person's pat lunch. He then divides the crowd into groups, gives thanks for the food and starts to divide it out. He gives it to the disciples who pass it out to the crowd. Now remember, five small loaves and two fish. How many would that feed? Jesus keeps dividing it and the disciples keep sharing it out. And in the end, everyone has all they want. No one is hungry anymore. Verse 42 says, They all ate and were satisfied. And that's not the end. The disciples go around picking up the leftovers. They end up filling 12 baskets full of bits of bread and fish. That's more food than Jesus started with. Imagine you're there. Imagine you saw this. A crowd of 5,000 plus people fed from a single pat lunch. What would you think about Jesus? This would be the question in my mind. Is there anything he can't do? You see, Jesus cares about people and Jesus is able to help people no matter how difficult our situation and circumstances are. What does that mean in real life? Well, one of the things the Bible encourages us to do is pray. It teaches us to talk to God and to ask for his help when things get tough. 
He doesn't promise us that God will do what we say or answer in exactly the way we want, but it does teach us that we should pray with a real sense of expectation. Why? Because God cares about people. He cares about our hurts and our pains. He is compassionate and loving, and God is able to do anything. No matter what we face, God is able to help. So today I want to leave you with the encouragement of the Bible to pray and to bring our concerns and needs to God. We'll be back next week with another episode. As usual, if you want to know when that comes out, subscribe to our YouTube channel, our podcast on Apple or Spotify, or the videos will also be put up on our Facebook page. Hopefully, see you next time.